painting at Raven Run turned into more of a hike, uh, about an hour and a half of hiking and about 45 minutes of painting. I'm Roger Snell. Welcome to my art journey. The scene was gorgeous. Uh, I would have to say, uh, like Daniel Boone, we were never lost uh, on the hour and a half of hiking with a 25-pound backpack of art supplies. And when you get to a scene like this, it makes up for any of the bumps in the road or the obstacles. But this turned out to be an extremely complex painting. And so not only am I never lost with the painting, I don't give up, but I'm also not lost with uh, the hike. A uh, picture of the map coming up here. We took the red trail to the left. As you see, it winds around and around and around. The purple arrow shows where the creek was where we painted. If we had gone to the right on the red trail, it would have taken us to what they call the flower bowl, where all of these uh, flowers are the number one thing to view at Raven Run. Well, Deb Phillips and I never made it uh, to that point. Uh, we went left, but we should have gone right. Uh, it's true that it was off the red trail, but uh, not the left turn of the red trail. So like Daniel Boone said, he was never lost. He was just bewildered for a few days. Well, Deb and I were never lost, uh, and we ended up with uh, at least a learning experience how complicated the scene is with all the greens, with all the reflections, with running water, with ripples. Uh, very, very difficult. So after about 45 minutes of painting at this creek, Deb and I decided that what we really learned was how to mix colors on a palette. That was, that was really all we had to show for our work, as she said. I decided not to give up, that I will never be lost. And so when I got home and back to the studio, I spent another couple of days and another couple of hours trying to get the values right and simplify as much as I could. And this is an example of Painting outdoors and painting from life, plain air, is the graduate level course of painting. It is far more complicated than painting from a photo where everything is framed perfectly, the water doesn't move, the light doesn't change, and you really have a chance to study specific areas closely. But it's the greatest way to learn colors and see into the shadows when you're actually there uh, on location. And how could it really go bad when it was a 70 degree day, you're listening to this creek, uh, water fall over the rocks, uh, the birds singing, and actually standing in the middle of the creek uh, because there were dry areas on the flat rock. Just a, a great experience and that's what I'll remember from this sketch, and I'll also remember how complicated it is to try a scene like this. Maybe it'll be easier the next time I try. So what you'll see is uh, the final touches and the progress in the studio as I finish up painting and hiking at Raven Run. Hope the main lesson is never give up. You're never lost. You might be bewildered for a few days, like Daniel Boone. 